Hello everyone, my name is Karel and you can call me my Japanese name called Kila. So today I'm very very excited because the cinematic studio sample came out from Unity. What? Guess what? Like things getting more organized when you're trying to take uh, the real time sequence timeline and things like that. Uh, I actually look into the project, uh, the lighting getting more organized. Uh, even the small detail of the layout you can actually choose from it and then there's more output you could do it support Olympic we'll go through the documentation uh, and with the high definition rendering pipeline everything just looks so great uh, and they even comes with an example of how do you make your uh, cartoon in unity which I look at it it, it, it just feels like a bemo to me uh, I don't know I don't know any of you watch Adventure Time or not, but I really love that shows and uh, it, it's just so cute and I like the presentation of it um, and I can't wait to show you guys that. So let's go for the documentation. Yep, so I'm going to include the link in the video down below. So. Today, I'll mainly focus on the Cinematic Studio sample, uh, which is the first thing uh, I would like to talk about. Uh, what is a Cinematic Studio sample? It actually gather a set of features that make movie taking first class experience. Uh, if you're like me, uh, use, also use Unreal, uh, you will want a lot of features that help you take movie easier and help you organize. Uh, and Unity actually improved a lot this time on that. Uh, as they mentioned in the uh, Cinematic Studio sample, what do they include? Uh, like the timeline get updated, the sequence get updated, so you could edit it better. Uh, it's more collaborative and more flexible. For example, for the clip, when you edit it, it don't trim it on the actual clip. And also there's the recorder. Uh, there's stills output now, there's AOVs. I, I don't think I used AOVs on the recorders before. And uh, there's also... <coughs> <clears throat> the support of Alimbic. Support on Alimbic, actually, there's two usage in the industry, uh, in the Excel industry that uh, I'm working in, and also with the 2D production. Uh, one thing is like, for example, from Houdini's that you want to import the Alimbic file uh, for those effects looks better. Uh, then you use Alimbic. And also for one of the thing that I test in my studio is the volumetric Alimbic file and I'm really really happy that uh, Unity actually taking it more serious to support Alimbic file format in the complex animations. Uh, they, they did support an Alimbic earlier but uh, I feel like there's still a lot of things that we could do on the Alimbic file and to make things look better. And this FBX exporter uh, FX exporter is always there, but I guess maybe they did some sort of modification to make it better. Cinema screen and camera system, HDLP, which is the high definition random pipeline, always there. And finally, uh, this is one of the things that really impressed me today uh, is the MICHL, the brand new made with Unity cartoon. Like, basically, it's like an anime. Um, the character looks like Bimo to me. If you like Adventure Time, like I do, uh, I think you will really enjoy the ideas. Um, I, li I love it, and we will watch it together. So it's a documentation, and you go down the PDF file and follow the instruction of the PDF file to uh, to do the testing. Uh, but basically, it is really simple. Uh, you just need to go to the Assess Store. Make sure you install the 2020 dot free. Uh, according to get the, the documentation, they only support 2020.3. Uh, I tried on 2019, it won't work at all. It just shows so many errors on that. But uh, maybe maybe in 2021 that that version might work, but uh, I would recommend just to save the hustle, just use the 2020.3, uh, uh, just install it immediately like I do. And then you go to your asset store, uh, at your asset, open in Unity um, when your project open. But before you open in Unity, you need to create your new project. So what I recommend you would do uh, is press Add 
and then choose version of the 2020.3.8 which is this version oh why is greater right now can't find version you're looking for how come damn me remove it i didn't remove it all right i don't know why i cannot find right now which is really weird maybe i did it the install oh because i installed it duh that's why i cannot do it so so what you need to do is you need to go here um choose the point three dot eight and then you want to choose your high definition lp over here and then name it and then open it afterward go to asset store uh, or maybe inside the unity search name or just click on the link that i will provide and then you will be able to install in your unity uh, just basically press import i mean press download first on your unity package and then press import uh, i i think i'll actually show you in the project so this is the project hey bimo it's not being why not so yeah just go here download it press import uh make sure you log into your unity account with your unity id um and then and then you will able to import it and press a button to uh, go through the process of install and upgrade uh, and afterward everything should be fine but if you use students 19 i guarantee you get error because i did it already so yeah so since we're here uh here is the fun project uh you can see if you use unity before uh, the layout will be different. If you didn't use Unity before, it's good for you to have a look on uh, how the Unity layout is. It's actually so much better than before, and it's really, really nice. Uh, you can see the structure over here before. There's no structure before. In the past, I wish the structure earlier so that I could choose any time and go to different uh, clip and scene. And then there's also a set collection, which we don't have before, and the cinematic helpers, which we don't have before. Uh, you basically could just click on the uh, layout and then it would change it, it would close it and then it will open the new ones. And then there's also the sequence assembly uh, which you could select um, your cinematics and then you can see the lighting and FX and all the props that is related to this clip which is really convenient and I really appreciate that Unity improved their UI on this. So let's have a look on the video. Um, 
I think people who love create animation can actually reference to the clip on how they do it and then uh, hence to do something similar. I think there's a lot of things that we could learn from the clip. Uh, maybe I'll make a video later to talk about uh, the details that I think we should look into, maybe about the lighting, uh, how they do the rotation on the scene and how they pop things out and create effect uh, between a character. Um, one of the things that really catch my eyes is actually uh, how how the character is. So when you actually look at the character, the, the character hand is unlike other humanoid character and it seems stressed out and really flexible kind of hand. Um, this is something uh, maybe my I personally don't work a lot on in generic kind of models because uh, you know when you use mix meme, uh, I mean mix mode and all of the other set, you basically have the humanoid and make everything convenient. You can see the hand is kind of like uh, some sort of stretching out, stretching out, and then also there's some effect um, when he move. Actually, where is the moving effect? I found the moving effect is actually really interesting. So you see, you see this effect over here. Uh, this is also something really interesting, and it happens a lot in cartoons. Um, and I think this is a really good reference, and uh, we could actually learn a lot from here. Oh yeah, so, so here's the new interface, and here's a brief, brief, brief review uh, of the new Unity sample, cinematic sample, and I hope you guys will love it as as much as I do. Uh, and thanks for watching of the video. And if that helps you a little bit and knows a little bit on the news, uh, please press like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. See ya.